Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another MAT170 concept session. Today, we're going to be solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Uh, my name is Nick, and I'm a, I work with the ASU Tutoring Center, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, when so, so first off, before we even kind of get into any of the questions, let's go ahead and just write out what the quadratic formula is. So the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And that's all then gets divided by 2a. So remember, as you recall, and I'm just going to write it just over here, um, we have our a and our b and our c. So our a is the coefficients of the variables that are squared in a quadratic equation. And then our b is the coefficients behind just the variable with the exponent to the one. And then our c are just our uh, constants with that are attached to no variables, All right? So that's kind of how everything breaks down. So let's go ahead and look at equation A. Now, to plug in um, equation A into our quadratic equation, we'll write, um, b. So we have negative b in the equation, right? But then we also have negative b right here, or negative 4, right? So what that would do is actually transform that into being a positive, because the negative can cancels out. And we'll write that out just to follow the equation. So we have the negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root, and then we have b, which is negative 4, squared minus 4 times our a, which is 5, times our c, which is negative 3. And then that all gets divided by 2 times our a, which is 5. Then when we write it out, we have our positive 4 plus or minus the square root. So negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 5, which is 20, times 3, which is 60. But we have the negatives, right? So we, we technically had negative 20, right, right here, times the negative 3, which actually gives us plus 60, all over 10. From here, we can reduce it. We can just reduce the inside a little bit more. So we have 4 plus or minus the square root, and then we have the 6 over here, 76, all over 10. And that's what our answer is. Um, generally, you can just leave it um, in this format. Um, if you want to, you can solve the square root of 76 in your calculator and then add that to 4 and then subtract that from 4, divide by 10. And those would give you like your exact answers. So that's always an option as well. Um, and then over here we can solve b. So remember, we have our a, our b, and our c over here, right? So let's go ahead and just write it out and plug it into the formula. So we have negative b, which is negative negative 4x. So we have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of our b squared. So negative 4 squared minus 4 times our a, which is our 2. And then C is negative 30. And then all of this is divided by 2A. Now simplifying some more, we have positive 4. Then we have our 16 minus, and then we have negative 4 times positive 2, which is negative 8 times a negative 30, which will give us a positive here. And then we have, so if you write it out, we can have the zero and then eight times three is 24, all divided by two times two, which is four. So then to simplify a little bit further, we have four plus or minus the square root of 256, all divided by four. And then from there, that'll be our answer of what x equals. 
So um, that was a good overview of what the quadratic uh, formula is. And hopefully that helped um, kind of clear thing, some things up for you. Um, if you have any additional questions, go ahead and check out tutoring.asu.edu um, for some more information on all the free resources that you have at your disposal from being an ASU student. We have tutoring centers located on all four major campuses of ASU, as well as an online tutoring center as well. Um, if you enjoyed this concept video, go ahead and click on that other link on your screen. That'll direct you to a document that lists out all of the other concepts uh, videos for MAT 170 that you can access whenever you'd like. But other than that, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and good luck in your course.